Hello everybody, welcome to Auto Surgeon. Hope you all are safe and well. If you haven't watched my previous videos yet, I'll leave a link above. Do check them out. Now today's video is pretty interesting. It's about Wacom or VCDs. Uh, now for those who haven't heard about Wacom, it is a cable interface that plugs into your car's OBD port and VCDs is a, is a Windows based software developed by Rostec which logs uh, into your car's ECU diagnostic computer. So in short, it helps you scan your car for faults and also helps you uh, perform some minor tweaks as well. This can be mainly used for VAG engines and covers mostly all Audi, Volkswagen, uh, Seat and Skoda models and some other non-VAG vehicles too. If you own any of these models and is assembled post 1990, then you can immediately and safely use VAGCOM or VCDS diagnostic tool. As I mentioned before, this tool can be used for two purposes. One, to scan your vehicle for faults and two, to perform minor tweaks as well. Scanning your vehicle will show the exact state of your engine and how it is performing. And then you can make the required adjustments to ensure that your car is running as economical as possible. Watch the video till the end to get a better picture on how to scan your car and also to perform those satisfying minor modifications on your car. So after installing the VCDS software onto your laptop and connecting to your car or with the laptop via the uh, VCDS cable, we need to perform a compatibility test. In order to do that, open up VCDS software and then click on options. Next you need to click on test. You'll be getting a pop-up window which states that all the ports are okay and uh, you are ready to go. So the main thing you have to look for is the CAN which has to give a status of OK. Click on OK. And then save it. So let's perform a scan of the car. So prior to the scanning itself, we actually know that there are two faults present in the car. Let's see whether the software picks it up. So in order to scan your vehicle, you need to first click on auto scan. And then make sure auto check is selected on the drop down menu, which is by default selected and then click on start now the whole scanning will take a um, couple of minutes because there are a lot of modules present in a car so it is gonna check each and every module and let's wait for the scan to complete and we will find out whether the uh, software has successfully picked up the issue So as told earlier, there are two faults present in the car. Uh, one among them is the ABS sensor. There is a faulty ABS sensor because uh, we can see on the instrument cluster when we drive that the ABS uh, lights uh, gets on while driving. So but we are not sure whether the which sensor is faulty. It could be any one of the sensor or it could be all four of the sensor so let's uh, wait and check whether the software picks the correct sensor So 
so as you can see it checks all the modules in it the immobilizer unit the airbag system the brakes the engine the ecu system each and everything so it's pretty complex software but still it is so user friendly and easy to use as you can see the final scan report of the car is complete and it actually shows two fault codes in it and basically a fault code is triggered either when there is a failure in the part itself or just a loose connection so in here the first fault code states as the cylinder misfire but it's actually not that accurate because uh, the car is uh, not uh, in the starting position it's just in the ignition on position so uh, we are interested in the second uh, fault code that is of the abs brakes so let's check whether the software has been able to pinpoint which speed sensor it is so you can uh, see over here that it is it is the uh, left of rear wheel speed sensor that has given a fault code so uh, this is the reason why owner used to get the abs uh, light lit up on the uh, dashboard so next let's copy the complete a uh, scan report onto a text document on your laptop so it is easier to uh, communicate with the uh, authorized service center associate in order to get the problem rectified so this is basically everything you need to know on scanning a car so the next tutorial i'm going to show is all about conducting those satisfying minor tweaks in the car so in order to do that first you need to close this window now click on select control module now the first tab shows the complete modules that has been installed in your car uh, namely engine abs brakes central electricals airbags instruments can gateway immobilizer steering assist and radio so the first tweak that i'm going to show you today is the indicator celebration mode for this click on instruments and then you need to click on adaptation which is on the right side below coding once you have clicked the adaptation uh, tab uh, you need to scroll down and find indication indicator celebration mode from the drop down menu so after you have found the indicator celebration mode you need to activate it now in this case i have already activated it before after you have clicked on the active from the drop down menu do not forget to click on do it so from next time on whenever you start your vehicle the needle sweep completely so let's go ahead and perform the other tweaks as well so in order to do that you need to get into central electronics after that you need to click on adaptation you'll get a ton of features to activate some of the features are already activated but i will be showing it to you guys so the first thing is central locking auto unlock feature so it's quite self explanatory you'll get a balloon popping up uh, the doors will automatically unlock when the key is removed from the ignition switch zero to deactivate and one to activate the next is central locking auto lock feature the doors will lock automatically when the vehicle reaches a speed of 15 km per hour. 0 to deactivate and 1 to activate. The next is visual comfort opening or closing confirmation. Basically, the lock is coupled with the indicators. Uh, the indicator will flash once when you lock and will flash twice when you unlock the car. The same way 0 is to deactivate and 1 is to activate it. The next is the audible feature. The horn is coupled with the uh, door lock. 
So same as before, the horn will sound once for lock and twice for unlock. So next we are going to activate the teardrop wiping feature. What teardrop wiping does is that after we press the windscreen washer stock behind the steering wheel, some droplets tend to remain even after wiping. So now as teardrop wiping is activated, the wiper will automatically wipe once more after the standard cycle is completed. So here you can see that it repeats once more for any drops left due to the activation of the feature. So the next feature we're gonna tweak is the lane changer. Normally a single tap on the indicator stock will activate the lane changer which typically flashes the indicator for three times. Here you can increase it to five repetitions. Click on comfort turn signal from the drop down menu and give the value as you can keep it anywhere between 1 to 5 and then click done. The greatest advantages of modern day cars are that they are fully computerized and if you are an owner of any of the WAG vehicles and are having the WAG tool, it ensures that you can maintain your vehicle at its peak performance, which in the long term is a lot more economical. What was once only accessible to the factory or dealer workshops is now available to everyone. 